Hi, I'm Carmen DeJovene, and welcome to HRS 5100 Introduction to Assistive Technology and the Assistive and Rehabilitative Technology Certificate Program. I thought I would provide an overview of the resident conference. The resident conference finished up last week, and there were so many great things to see and hear. I thought I would bring it to this YouTube video. I've been attending the Resna Conference since 1994, and every year I get super excited about the conference, and I can't wait to take home everything that I've learned and apply it in clinical practice and the educational setting. So I hope you enjoy this video as I go through some of the highlights from the conference. Of course, the biggest highlight of the conference were the keynote, set, keynote sessions that occurred on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The first keynote on Wednesday was Molly's story. She talked about universal design. She's a pioneer in the field and has been a researcher in the field for a few decades. She was part of the Rehabilitation Engineering Research Center that looked at accessibility of medical equipment. It's an important area because it allows access for people with disabilities to get medical attention, to receive medical services. It's an important area because it's so important that individuals with disabilities are able to re receive, help, are able to access healthcare services. It's an important area because it's so important for people with disabilities to be able to access healthcare services. Molly's story provided a great overview of the development of standards. Molly's story provided a great reminder that it can take a long time for the research, in her case that happened in the 2000s for the Rehabilitation Re Engineering Research Center, to actually get put into practice, which occurred in the 2010s. And it still isn't quite in practice the way that she would like to see it, and quite honestly, the way we all would like to see it. But it's getting there. The guidelines are in place, and now we just need organizations, academic medical centers, to start including accessible medical equipment in their everyday practice. On Thursday, we had Molly McCulley Brown come and give an inspiring and thought-provoking presentation. She is an author, an essayist, and a poet that talked about her own story. It forced me to reflect on the importance of the person who is always at the center of all this mainstream technology or assistive technology that we talk about and work with every day. I got goosebumps with a number of her stories. I can't do her presentation justice, so I recommend if you have the opportunity checking out her presentation and if you don't, check out her book. Also on Thursday, we had a keynote presentation where a group of panelists talk about global perspectives of data for assistive technology innovation. Five women talked about the role of five leaders in the field of data as it relates to assistive technology, talked about the role of data with an international perspective. These five leaders included Emma Smith, who represented Ireland and Canada, Natasha Layton, who represented Australia, Maria Toro Hernandez, who represented Colombia and Spain, Catherine Holloway, who represented the United Kingdom, and Silvana Contempi, who represented Argentina. One of the best quotes from that presentation was that we should all use data to explain the story so data can help us explain the story, but make sure the person is at the center and is not lost when telling the story. It really reminds us once again to focus on the individual. Finally, on Friday, we had the Colin McLaurin, McLaurin lecture, lectureship given by Peter Axelson. The title of the presentation was Designing Beyond the Norm to Hear the Needs of All People. 
Peter gave great stories and he had great photos. I was really impressed with the photos that he found from 30, maybe even 40 years ago. He provided a reminder of how challenging, hard, and fun it can be to develop, commercialize, and implement assistive technology. Of course, my favorite part of the presentation was when he poked a little bit fun at my doctoral advisor, calling him out because he tends to snore at night. That's what good friends are for, keeping us in our place. And those keynotes were just the beginning of the conference. It was full of emerging and innovative technology and ways to use that technology. Everything from wheelchairs to smart homes to iOS devices or smartphone devices and tablets. It was a great way to have all of us get together virtually. I got to learn about judging smart. I got to learn about full access. You'll have to go and look up those presentations to learn more about that. Of course, I got to enjoy the scientific paper presentations. The most exciting ones, of course, are the student presentations. I got to be part of the Poster Minute Madness. I love the Poster Minute Madness. It allows you to get a lot of information, learn about what's going on at universities and colleges across the world in less than 60 minutes. And of course, my favorite every year, I have to admit I have a favorite, the Exhibitor Hall and the Developer Showcase. I really liked it this year because of the virtual environment. I could watch videos about the products and the new innovations, and then go into the breakout rooms and talk to those innovators, developers, and manufacturers reps to learn more about their products and how we can use them every day, and also learn what's coming up around the corner. I just wanna finally wrap up by saying thanks to all the sponsors and exhibitors that make the conference happen and that provide us with new innovation and technology once we go home. Of course, I can't cover everything today in this video, so I'll post other highlights in the discussion forums if you're in the RTC program or taking the class HRS 5100, and I'll also post some on Twitter if you're not, able, if you're not taking the courses. I hope you enjoyed this video and learning activities throughout the semester. For those of you in HR 5100, this will be your last video of the semester. As always, reach out to me if you have any questions about the course, or if you just wanna talk shop about assistive technology and rehabilitation engineering. And for those of you that are taking the course, yeah, you can always reach out to me too. I always talk about technology. So I wanna say thanks for a great semester. And of course, for everybody, see you at Resda 2020 in Arlington, Virginia.